I always thought that I had been clear on where to draw the line and detach myself from the stories. Stories of inequity, displacement, discrimination, poverty and despair. John was one of many workers at the local asbestos factory. In the small town, most of the men work for the same plant. To work for a large plant was something everybody did. That was a good job that provided the men with the means to support their families. Every day after work, John would come home and was always greeted by his children, running to give him a hug. John would spend all his free time with his family and play games with the children as much as possible. So it was good that he was home. They could see through the air little shining dust glittering in the afternoon light emanating from his clothes like magic. John reminded me of the many people I have worked with, the temporary workers that come to the city with high hopes, leaving families behind searching for a better future, never thinking that they might not make it or that something could happen to them or to their families. Those men in their families are in a way part of me, part of my story, my past, and my present. I look at somebody's life and try to help them to accomplish what they have said to do, like John. John passed away last year, his lungs destroyed by the asbestos. He never thought that what his children call fairy dust were the particles of the asbestos he brought home in his clothes from work. Knowing John's story, how can I detach? How can I, any of us detach? Today, John's wife is dying from the asbestos. She worries for her children. The years of cleaning the house and clothes of the fairy dust continues to take its toll.